Crystals have power. If you're unfamiliar with the episode, Jake takes a vow of non-violence, but then Finn gets snatched up to the crystal dimension and that causes a conflict of interest. This episode was storyboarded by Cole Sanchez and Jesse Moynihan and they had some interesting things to say about working on it. I couldn't figure out how to draw the show yet. I think the board test I took for this show was even more crazy looking than this. When I first took the test, I thought the names were Flynn and Jeff, referring to how the animation style is a bit weird and he also noted how people said he drew it kind of flat. Personally I thought the unique style change was intentional and enjoyed it but it's trippy to know the backstory behind it. It was also said I think the original was Jake was looking at an internet guru named Gugax all night on the internet and he was teaching him how to be non-violent and then that tied into the crystal dimension. I don't think originally Tree Trunks was even in this episode. Then Pendleton Ward added yeah these were all my very 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 last minute plans to use this outline because we didn't have any other ones and we had to keep going we just have to keep going sometimes and i was like we can make it work we can make it work i had tree trunks and she's the crystal queen i think we made up a lot of the stuff at the very last minute and i think a lot of people didn't believe me that it would come together and i was like no it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine it's gonna work it's gonna come together trust me all i remember is that emotion and that's a good life lesson personally and they kind of tied it in as well to that's often how your first board is gonna go or just anything involving where you have to work with it on a group of people or work on it with a group of people at this point in time as well jesse moynihan i believe stated that he was trying to shoehorn gugax and jermaine into future episodes but it never panned out and clearly it it eventually panned out for Jermaine, but never for Gugax. Also, the ending for this episode was vastly different. The portal was gonna split in two, and the lightning demon was gonna grab Tree Trunks and pull her into another dimension, so that they would have to go save her again in another episode. That would have been an interesting trope because they totally took Tree Trunks in a whole different direction, and I'm not complaining, it's just interesting. But that's about it, so let me know what you guys think, let me know how your day is going in the comment section below. Stay safe and stay smart learn to love yourself as well and if you already are keep learning links to the discord in the comment section and description below links to the social media in the description blah 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 and on that note i'm about peace